Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate your local build website, the one that you've built locally on your computer, and we're going to migrate that over to your hosted domain. Okay, so we're going to do that using a plugin. Um, it's a real straightforward process. Okay, so let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how it's done. Right, okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to log into my local host installation. And I'll just show you the website. So this is the website, okay, it's a very basic installation. But I've just put there, this is on my local computer, just to show you. So what we need to do is we need to go into plugins. We need to install a plugin. Okay, sorry, if we go add new. Plugin we need to install is called WP Vivid. And you're looking for this one here, which is backup and migration, WP Vivid. Okay, install that. Okay, and then activate. Right, and now when we're done, we want to make basically we're going to make a backup of this whole website. And then we're going to basically upload this whole website to our website that's listed, um, that's online, that's the one that you've got the domain and the hosting for. Okay, so leave these settings the same. You want to do database and files, and you save backups to local. So you're going to save it to your computer first. Okay, so click backup now. Okay, and there you go, backing it up. Just take a few seconds, depending on your computer speed. Okay, good. And if you scroll down the bottom, you can see where it's stored it here. We're just going to download that. That just tells you the file, then just click download. Okay, and that will download to your computer. Okay, so that's now down. I'm just going to drag that onto my desktop. So that's downloaded. Okay, so we're done now with this one. We can log out of the local host. And then we're going to go to our website that's online. Okay, so we're going to log back, log into this website. Okay, and then we're going to go to plugins. We're going to add that same plugin again. Okay, just to show you this. So this site is completely blank, okay, just to show you. So we're going to add the plugin. So it's called WP Vivid. Okay, install. Activate. Right. Now we want to upload. Okay. So we're going to click this button here where it says upload. And then we're going to drag our file in that we've just downloaded from the other website. It's going to drag that in there. And you see there, that's where the file is. And then we're just going to click on upload. And again, this depends on your connection, computer speed, etc. etc. So just chill out. And wait for it to upload. Okay. So, it says here the upload is completed. You just click OK. And now you can see it's put the file on this website. So, you just need to now click Restore. And then it will just, it will come up with like a feed. And again, you just click restore here. It says, are you sure? You click OK. And then it will just go through and just upload all of the data. Okay. Restore completed successfully. Click OK. 
Now we'll log you back out because it's basically just giving you a new website. Now what we'll say here is when you log in in now, you will need to use your username and password that you set up on your local build. Okay, this is not the one that you set up when you installed this domain online. It will be your local build. Okay, so you can log in. Um, we don't need this plugin anymore, but we don't need to delete it for the purpose of this. So there we can have a look now at the website. And there you go. So that's the full website that we built locally. Okay. That's now uploaded onto your online hosted domain. So there you go. So I hope that helps. Um, any questions, pop it in below on the comments. If you've got any value from this, please hit the subscribe and the thumbs up. And um, I'll be sure to make some new videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.